government has placed rules before the parliament and these rules in our view will divide thousands of families, those who want to uh, choose to marry or establish civil partnership with a non-EU citizen. Here comes the bride in a wedding vest, but we'll throw her out if she can't pass the test. Here comes the bride wearing a wedding vest. We'll throw her out if we can't pass the test. But, Jamal, will you marry me? I can't. I can't. I, I've, I've failed the test. The way things stand at the moment, people who wish to get settlement or wish to get citizenship are allowed to go to English classes, study some citizenship and show the Home Office that instead of having to do the test. The test is too high for many people to pass. What the Home Office are going to do with the rule changes is remove the chance to go to classes and ask everyone, all spouses, to take a test at, a, at, at an intermediate level, which we think is too high, as well as a life in the UK citizenship. Two tests in order to prove that you're a good enough citizen even though you may have been paying taxes, you may have been schooling your kids, you may have been looking after your relatives, you may have been doing everything that would be regarded ordinarily as being a good citizen. But, but I don't know what the O negative and is. We don't have money. <laughs> Baby, we uh, don't have money. How much, how much do we need? Uh, £18,600 minimum. And you need to have been earning that for six months already, and you need to be able to earn that for another five years. Spouse or civil partners to come here have to show 18,600 pound salaries here. How many people can meet this kind of rules? Even government's migration advisory committee estimates that south half of the people, applicants, will not be able to make this. And in their estimation, it's about 25,000 people will be separated from their loved ones. And 2,400 pounds for every baby you might have. Oh my goodness, are you? Oh. Oh. That's actually three thousand eight hundred pounds for the first. For the first. One. We're looking at around about twenty-four thousand now. <laughs> you can't do this to my baby. We can. We, can. we organise across sectors where people from migrant backgrounds are actually members of our union and are in very low-paid, difficult circumstances. And these laws, these rules that have been brought in will actually take away their right to what everybody else in this country takes for granted, their right to actually be able to form partnerships with people that they love, that they're, in, that they're involved in relationships with. They have also introduced uh, the observation period for couples, those who come here from non-EU country to join British citizens or settle people here uh, to five years. It will force people to live in abusive marriage just for immigration purposes. They have also introduced or going to introduce the taking away the family rights appeal. In family appeals, the people get about 50% after the appeal allowed because of the poor decision making, uh, decision making of the executive. on a picket of the Peruvian embassy where mining companies are expanding, they're destroying the planet, they're driving people off their land. Why, why would anybody want to come from Peru or the Philippines or from um, Ghana to come to Britain 
if it's not because of the effect that Britain has had on their countries in the first place. Exactly. Exactly. These rules are going to take away rights of British citizens. They will have lesser rights than their European counterparts. The family rights are fundamental human rights. Under Article 8 of ECHR, the people has right to be with their families. And this government, when they were, this government and the oppositions, they were saying the family is the core value of the country. They want to promote family life and everything. And they're introducing rules like these. The right to family life is not a privilege, it's a human right. These rules are frankly as much to do with Theresa May's propaganda war against human rights. The current immigration system is completely racist. My American students aren't pursued by Akbar. Students from Canada or Australia aren't pursued. And I even have students who have had their visa stopped and they're still trying to finish their education here. They're still trying to do their dissertation. It's saying brown and black people from poor backgrounds are not welcome here. Rich people from the rich developed world who've got good educations are welcome and we have to fight and we have to resist this together as best we can. Today is only the start of something which is going to be a very long fight but it's a fight we absolutely must win. The only opposition that really is really going to do something is the mobilisation of people on the streets and I'm really glad that there's a wide range of organisations here. Someone help, someone help us. No, like, come, you. Us. come and help us, come and help us. Help. Oh. <laughs> <No>. <laughs>